Another well, Thursday, well, friend we have in Jesus. In John chapter 2, verse 10, down to 10, Jesus, after performing a miracle at the wedding of Canaan, the master of ceremony said, you have kept the best till the last, till the end. Before the end of this year, 2022, you and I will receive a miracle. The best miracle left for the year will be ours. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Let's go. It's another Thursday. So today we'll be continuing speaking about success in exams and interview part four. Success in exams and interview part four. We'll be talking about how do I get understanding part two. How do I get understanding part two. Last week, we dealt with how do I get understanding part one. We said reading, research, and study. Studying, reading, and research. Today we want to deal with paying attention to details. Paying attention to details. Proverbs 4, 20 to 22. Proverbs 4, 20 to 22. My son, give attention to my words. Incline your ear to my sins. Do not let them depart from your eyes. Keep them in the midst of your heart, for they are life to those who find them, and let to all their flesh. Proverbs 4, 20 to 22. If you are a young person and you can pay attention to social media or movies for hours, yet you claim when it comes to issues of personal development, schoolwork, issues of your destiny, you complain that you have short attention span. Please listen to me carefully. That's number one. Number two, in Hebrews chapter 2 verse 1, Hebrews chapter 2 verse 1, putting it in my own words, if you are not attentive, to the things you are learning in school, to your coursework, to your, the job you are interested in, to the things of personal development, something else that is less relevant, like social media content, will drift you away and steal your attention. In other words, if you are not attentive to the things of personal development, things of destiny, something else will steal your attention and drift you away. Number three, right, number two, whatever you pay close attention to will not depart from your eyes. It will be kept in your heart and you will become healthy in it. In other words, paying attention to details builds your capacity to understand your schoolwork your school assignment or the role you are applying to secure. That's what it does when you pay attention to details. If you have problems in being attentive, I let me recommend or just ask you to try the following. Number one, what such? What such games related to your subject area, your field of study or your role? What videos? Cartoon, cartoons or whatever cartoons or whatever they call it that relates to your subject area or field of study or role. You may also try reading articles or materials that will develop you personally. And as a church pastor, I will recommend also reading the Bible. Say a chapter or two or three because the Bible is spirit. John 6.63 John 6.63 The spirit of the Bible of God in the Bible we activate something in you, even you without knowing, that will begin to make you pay attention to details. Now, as I begin to close, if you are having what we call ADD, Attention Deficient Disorder, listen, John 14, 14, John 14, 14 says, if you ask anything in my name, I will do it. John 16, 24, John 16, 24 says that we should pray until our joy is full. Talk to Jesus about it. That's why I play this sound. I have no copyright to it. For you to talk to Jesus about it. Tell Jesus to correct the condition. Jesus is the reversal of the irreversible. Don't accept in pity any condition that wants to limit you. That wants to steal your joy. That wants to limit your greatness. Talk to Jesus about it. And Jesus, who does the impossible, will reverse it. And you will not be complaining of anything. Attention, deficiency, disorder, whatever it is. Okay? Now let's pray. Father, Empower me to be attentive in all that will make me gloriously impact my world. If I have any attention deficiency issues, hear me now. 
in Jesus' name. God bless you. Jesus loves you. Come to him today. Amen.